Pass. Water cycle is an important biochemical cycle. Okay. Why we are saying it is a biochemical? Because here, beta, we are talking about the water molecules. First, water molecules are evaporating, then condensing, then again rainfall happens. So water is known as what? Water is made up of just a minute, sorry. Water is what? H2O. Hydrogen plus oxygen. Because of that reason, we are telling it as a what? Water cycle is a biochemical cycle. Understood? Yeah. Water cycle is what? Water cycle is what? Water cycle is my biochemical cycle. Okay. Involves in the flow or circulations of water through different, different layers of uh, my ecosystem. Is this clear? This is also known as what? Hydrological cycle. This is also known as what? Hydrological cycle. Because hydro means water, right? Yes, because hydro, hydro, logical. Logic comes from where? We are, whatever logic we are using it. Okay. Uh, that is the logic. Logical means what? We are uh, something, the logic comes. Right. That is the logical. Uh so hydro means what? Water plus logic. Fine. Sorry. So here what comes? Hydrological cycle. So our comes it what that water cycle between there's a whole process. This is a water cycle is a whole process between my earth and the atmosphere where water is changing into three forms. What are those three forms? Solid, liquid and gases. Okay. Now, according to this diagram, first is what? First is my water evaporate. Hmm. First process is what? Evaporation of water. Evaporation of water. Okay. Is this clear? Yeah, that's when it becomes its gaseous state, right? Okay. Evaporation, either you can say, this is the initial state of our water cycle. Either you hmm. can say it as a transpiration. It doesn't matter. Okay. Transpiration or evaporation. You can say any of these two words. This so is the transpiration is basically the same thing as evaporation. Correct. Initial okay. state of water cycle. Okay. Understood? Then, when water evaporates, okay, so process by which water from uh, changes into the liquid state during the process of photosynthesis or because of the sunlight or water evaporates. That term is known as water evaporation. Mm. Here, so next, yeah. water evaporated in the air because it is gaseous, so it will go upward. Correct? And then it condensates. Yes. The second so like it becomes back to a liquid form in the form of rain. Correct. 
So the second that's stage. That's a precipitation app, right? Okay. Like I'm just following the diagram. So the second stage is beta, that is your condensation. When water vapor loses its thermal energy, what is thermal energy here? Because of heat, because of photosynthesis, water vapor becomes what? Heat up. Right? Mm. Vapor is what? Heat up. So whatever is heat up, the heated gas we all know, is what? Lighter. Mm. It's lighter just like my helium gas is also lighter. Hydrogen gas is also lighter because of that reason it goes up one. So whenever we are talking about the vapor, water vapor, it's what heat up because of that reason we are saying that in the condensation process, the water vapor loses its thermal energy. Understood? Yeah. Clear? So after losing the thermal energy, what will happen? The vapor again becomes liquid? Mm. Correct? Correct? The vapor becomes what? The vapor becomes liquid in state. And that is known as what your condensation. Is this okay, I'll write the points down. And because of this, the formations of clouds have. Is this clear? Because of condensation, the formation of clouds give off rain. The writer is forming. The formation of cloud starts forming. Okay. There should be so much of water to, uh, to uh, produce rain. That's when like, the clouds get heavy. When the clouds get heavy, it starts to rain. Because of too much of water. So they just give off rain. So yeah, give off. Then I will give yeah. you the recording also. Don't, don't take the tension. Okay. Then precipitation. Mm. Precipitation means what? Is either it is the form of a rain, either it is the form of a hailstone, either it is the form of a snow. Okay. These are the formation of your precipitation. That is after condensation, atmospheric water vapor forms. Sufficient large water droplets that we just now said, when the clouds will become too much heavy, it falls back on the earth because of the gravity. Mm. Understood the meaning of precipitation? Yeah. So the third stage, our third stage is what? See here. That is your precipitation. Okay. Hmm. Precipitation when lots of water uh, fills in the air, fills in the cloud, then it falls down due to gravity. in the form of rain, hailstone, snow, etc. Nowadays we can see acid rain also, correct? Colorful rain also we can see, correct? Yeah. Now, now, after precipitation, so precipitation is your third stage. After precipitation, 
the water is finally collected somewhere water is finally decomposing somewhere maybe in the form of a underground water um sea river ponds lakes well anywhere they are deposited correct correct so hmm. here you can see it is a collection now the last topic is what your collection either you can say it as a collection either you can say it as a what decomposition doesn't matter hmm is this clear whatever way yeah. you can say so the last process is what spore collection or decomposition Hmm. Final stage of water cycle. Where water is collected. After precipitation. in the form of uh, sources like ocean Ocean, river, lakes, pond, underground water, etc. Hmm. Understood? Yes. So this is. I'll the just write these points. Book. Sorry, beta. I'll just write these points down in my book. I will give you the recording. So after that, also you can write it down. Okay. Okay. That's not an issue. So what is the first first stage? Is what evaporation or transpiration? Then where water evaporates. Then condensation, where all the water molecules say because of thermal energy, it loses its thermal energy. And becomes what watery in shape. Then it forms a big cloud. So after it becomes too much heavy cloud, the it bursts in the form of a what rain. That process is known as what precipitation. When rain falls down due to gravity, it is collected in the water sources. That is the uh, pond, underground water, water. That is known as what collection or decomposition. Is this clear? Hmm. Yes. Good. Now tell me the next topic.